Please raise your right hand. College student Ginger Grant is suing her ex-boyfriend for credit card charges. Defendant Aaron Montgomery says he paid his bill and the tires were a gift. You're suing your ex-boyfriend, Ms. Grant, and it seems uh, that you are alleging that he owes you, what is it, $1,314 and odd pennies. Yes, uh, you so say well. he charged a sum on your credit card above and beyond what you authorized. And uh, he has also refused to pay a cell phone bill. Yes, Judge Brown. You met him at school, right? Yes, we met when I was attending North Carolina a t in the dorms. And um, we went out for about three years. And it was a good relationship in the beginning, you know, good relationship, love each other. But, um, and while we were in the relationship, I allowed him to use my credit card because he needed some tires. His tires were bald, and at the time, he didn't have the lump sum for the tires. So I allowed him to use my credit card. Um, when I got the statement, there were numerous other charges for mainly restaurants. I saw restaurants on there mainly. And then... <laughs> And then there was the cell phone, which um, it was a, when I got the phone, I had to open a two-year contract in order for me to get the, um, the deal I did on the, that I got on the phone. And I got it in my name because he tried to get one in his name. He had to pay a $300 deductible. I had the good credit, so I got it. I didn't have to pay anything in the beginning. And he did pay the bill up till about October of t last year. And this is when those really high, the phone, one, one of the phone bills, the $423 phone bill, was 83 pages long. So there's just a numerous... He's doing business. 83 pages? I don't know. We'll be back with more Judge Joe Brown in a moment. See, I got what she authorized me to get, which was the tires. I gave her back her he card. He gave back the card, but, Man, all but your Honor, I never hurt. used the card, ever. I yeah, never used what? the card, ever. Closed captioning sponsored by. We're back with Judge Joe Brown. The plaintiff in this case says she let her ex-boyfriend use her credit card to buy tires. She says she was surprised to discover he had helped himself to a lot more maxing out her car. Let's take a look. Please continue. And um, as their relationship came to an end, we had our own little problems. Like we were arguing in the end of the relationship. We were arguing a lot. And it just got to be to the point where we couldn't really talk without arguing and eventually it turned into him calling me all kinds of names no you was oh. that's was. Stop. it doesn't matter what i did if he wants to get into the whole cheating aspect um i tried to get out of the relationship a year in but i'm a nice person and he started crying so i just Whatever. stayed in <laughs> Honestly, oh, I, couldn't break it, it, no, 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 no. I couldn't break his heart. Oh, honestly. it hurts so ever. bad. You know, it, it happens. All Love and life. Things. You go through trauma. You know, they rip your heart out type of thing. Right. You know, all this. It happens. So, I wasn't, like, he just started calling me out of my name. Yeah. All kinds of, he doesn't even know what he's talking about half the time. You don't know and what you're talking about right now. Stop. I do know what I'm talking well, about Well, look, right look. Now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm here for is not to play Dr. Phil <laughs> okay, on well, you guys. Well, this is for marriage well. counseling. I'm here to do binding and contractual arbitration under California and U.S. law. And what I'm looking at is paperwork and documentation filed along with her sworn accounting that gives us somewhere where we don't add the most current interest and cost, et cetera, and penalties to the bill. We've got $1,314 and some odd cents total. Now, the phone bill has been paid down, I take it. I've paid all of these off myself because I couldn't have these going against yes, her credit. Yes, she's thinking about her credit in the future. Yes, sir. But some of these bills are a little bit, you know, off the scale. I mean, she paid them down. So she wants reimbursement for what you didn't take care of. And she also wants to be reimbursed for the unauthorized charges you put on her credit card. She said, poor baby, I don't want him riding around on bald tennis shoes down here on the fine roads, byways, highways, public parking lots, alleys, thoroughfares, bridges, etc. in the sovereign state of North Carolina, so I want him to be safe because I love him. Exactly. But I didn't say he could go down and run it up to max it out 
to the total of my exactly. poor little broke undergrad self could get, which is maxed out on this card, which is saying we're going to test you. We give them out readily to college students, particularly their young females, to see if you're credit worthy. So there yeah. was a limit of 500, and you shot it up to the limit. Okay. Exactly. Right. I had no intention. And you see this? I, I, it was a high APR, $150 in interest. Card. What? See, I got what she authorized me to get, which was a tires. I gave her back her he card. He gave her back the card, but, Man, but your Honor, I never hurt. used the card ever. I never yeah, used the card ever. Now, it's pretty much down on paper. That's the standard business record billing invoice type demand for payment. So all of this whoop, whoop, no, I didn't, is easy enough to resolve. What does it say? Yes, sir. And, you know, reading it, it shows that the phone bill is about what she says it is. And there's a, a listing of what got charged, and it goes a little beyond tires. But who's to say that was me? I'm in school I'm in saying. Greensboro. Those Man, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's on all fours when it comes to establishing the case. Judge Joe Brown makes his ruling after this. Bad boys, bad habits cost you money? Huh. Call 1-877-JOES-LAW or visit JudgeJoeBrown.com. Son, you got caught. This is you got caught what? Yeah, you got caught out. Caught. This is your first love in life. Man. You were in love. She did things for you. But you see, yeah, but she's trying to listen to me, learn wisdom. Man, Don't no, listen. Listen, listen, you, listen, listen, man. listen, listen. You, listen. you or you. L listen. Sometimes you do what you got to do. You're going to have to pay the lady this. It's like she caught you. She kept the records. and It ain't there anymore. First love of life. Move on. It's like a student loan. You got to pay it back. <laughs> Thirteen, fourteen. And this courtroom is now in recess. Well, the defendant did a little foot stomping at the end there, telling the judge that he didn't want to hear the criticism, but the judge makes him take his medicine. He'll pay the plaintiff. We'll be right back. We're back. The defendant tried to jump in during his ex-girlfriend's testimony, obviously still disturbed about the way things ended. The judge lets him know it doesn't really matter. He needs to take his licks and pay. For information on future cases or to contact this court, check out our website at judgejoebrown.com.